Hey folks, thanks so much for watching. Today, I'm doing an unboxing of the New Balance X90 sneakers. All right, so this is the box here, of course. It's the New Balance box. And these are the shoes. I think they look great. Here we are. Uh, I got these from Marshalls and uh, I like the color scheme. I like the materials and it's it's a, just a very handsome, a very good good looking shoe. Uh, it is lightweight and uh, it's impressive. It is, it really is impressive. Uh, I think the thing that stands out the most when you look at this shoe, when you look at these sneakers, what stands out is the midsole. As you can see, it has a very, very thick base or a very thick midsole. I like how the midsole uh, is sculpted and the lines flow. I like how the red logo on this particular pair of shoes really pops. The colors uh, contrast and complement uh, one another, each other. And I like how this element here uh, is stands out and it really is nice. There are a lot of little details here that I like, but this midsole mid uh, is, is, is nicely sculpted. It flares outward and upward to uh, not only to, to, to make the shoe look good, but I, I would guess to, to add uh, support. Uh, but uh, looking at the toe box here, uh, you can see how these the, the colors all come together. You have, of course, these white laces, and this is an off-white uh, foam here. But you know you can see that that is a mesh material, and so you have a darker gray mesh. You have a light textile, a light-colored gray overlay textile, an overlay that uh, goes well with that dark gray. Uh, and then you have the suede uh, elements on the shoe. And so not just the colors work well and complement each other, but the materials really work well. Now it's, it's warm out summer and, and there's, uh, this is a shoe that looks heavy uh, and it's got suede uh, on the shoe, of course, as I mentioned. But uh, I think you can wear this and... and uh, you can easily wear this during the summer, spring, and fall, uh, and you can, you know, it it looks warm, but in a way, it also looks comfortable and cool because this is a very lightweight shoe, and um, because of the mesh, I think that uh, this breathes. It's got some degree of breathability. I have not tested it, so I don't know. Uh, but overall, I think this is a shoe that really works well uh, uh, during uh, spring, summer, and fall. Uh, and I like the details. If you look at the bottom of the shoe, uh, you can see how it's sculpted here. And you can see that there really does look like, uh, it looks like the shoe uh, would, would provide a a good grip. It has a removable insert. I like that in a way I, I, because you could replace the insert, but I, 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 I think it's annoying in my opinion. I, I found, I find it to be annoying when you take off the shoe, the insert comes out as well. But anyway, I don't want to get off track. Uh, you can see the insert and it's got the stamp or it's got the X90 uh, written on the inside of the shoe. Uh, you've got New Balance on the outsole, on the outsole, on the bottom of the sneaker. Uh, you've got New Balance stamped or uh, spelled out here on this lighter gray textile element here on the inside. Again, I really like how the, the grays, the grays and the, I guess, is this blue? No, that's a, it is of course, it, it's a black, it is a 
black mesh, a black suede, a dark gray, a dark gray mesh, and a lighter gray textile, lighter gray material, uh, and the white laces. It really all works together really well, pulls together really well. And on this side, on the inside, inside part of the shoe, yeah, it says Revlite. And that's the material that's used here. This is a light foam. And according to New Balance, this Revlite material, it's a Revlite foam composite that, as I understand, as I recall from the website, at least, I think they were saying that, that this Revlite material is 30% lighter than uh, material that's often that's used and uh, in, in their other shoes but it's still nonetheless as I understand it very durable uh, and effective uh, so I have tried these on of course uh, at the store and they fit well I think these fit true to size um, and they are very light Again, they look, I think they, you know, they may, they look a little heavier. They look heavier than they really are. Uh, so these are a, a really great uh, pair of shoes, in my opinion. And I got these from Marshalls here in New York City and Harlem. And uh, I bought them for $34.99. It's a good deal. Um, and I'm really happy with the purchase. And uh, I'm looking forward to wearing it. can tell I really like these sneakers um, I think they look great I like the color scheme and actually I think the color scheme is what really stands out in this particular shoe to me and then I'd say next what's really noticeable uh, is uh, I should say the pattern and the design of the materials and then next after that would be how uh, the midsole really stands out and it's really just the, the, the sculpting of, of, of the midsole and the pattern and look of the of the actual shoe. I might add when I first saw these I thought uh, briefly that this was a camouflage type, a gray uh, camouflage type pattern but of course it's not uh, and then after you know taking uh, looking at it a little closer it's very clear it's not but I, I like the uh, the, the color scheme, the material, uh, pat the patterns, um, and, and the overall look of the shoe. Uh, this has uh, a really uh, pronounced midsole. Uh, I like that it looks like it has a grip. This uh, uh, also, what I did, this is a, I think, a rubber, out rubber uh, bottom here, outsole or bottom and uh, it's sculpted in a way that looks and, and there are so many crevices and so forth that I think that probably has a good grip when I was trying these on and walking that it, it really did seem to grip the floor uh, but uh, you know I'm not sure in terms of uh, actual performance running uh, and uh, you know and so forth I'm not sure what the grip is really like especially on wet surfaces and I don't know how this shoe uh, would hold up uh, under the different elements uh, in, in rain. Uh, you know, I don't know. But uh, I, in sum, uh, I, I really like the color scheme, the materials. I like that it's lightweight. Uh, I like the details. Uh, I really like how the logo pops and, and you got this little element here that pops as well. Uh, you got New Balance on the bottom. You know, it's written on this side. A lot of little details I didn't add before. I didn't mention that on the tongue. I like that the tongue does not uh, rise up too 
too too much. It's to me that can be annoying. On it depends. It works on some shoes, of course. Um, some sneakers it really works and adds support and comfort. But I like that this. I like the the, the, the height of the length of, of the tongue, and uh, this tongue has that mesh material as well. Uh, it's red on the inside. Uh, and uh, the insert, uh, not insert, I said insert before, but the insole uh, is nice and that has the X90, but you know, it's, it's actually a thin insole. And so my thinking is that uh, over time as I'm taking this off, the insole comes off as I'm taking off the shoe. Yeah, you see, this is the insole. And I, I might just remove this and replace it with something else. But it's nice and maybe it will, maybe it will, um, stay put but it it's, it's it is a nice it's a nice insole uh we'll just see if it remains in place but i really having said all that i think you can tell i love this uh shoe i love these sneakers and this is again in closing the new balance x90 sneaker thank you so much for watching give it a thumbs up share the video on social media if you haven't already subscribed Take care of yourselves.